Hello everybody, it's Alex here, and welcome back for episode number 31 for Hogwarts Legacy. Um, so in the last one we took a little bit of a break from the main story and just focused on completing a few side quests. Um, and so we ended up doing some more things with the beasts, and then we talked to uh, this Hufflepuff girl whose name I can't remember. But we rescued her uncle from a whole bunch of goblins, um, and then we helped... Uh, find the gobstones finally around the castle, and then we help this other guy named Duncan um, get a leaf from the Forbidden Herbology Corridor. Um, he's standing over here, or he was over here at least. Um, and we did a couple other little things as well. Um, but now in this one, I think we're going to get back into the main story. Okay, so the only side quests I have left are these four, and all of them... Actually, I might do this quickly, sweeping the competition, just to get an enhanced broom. Let's do that first. Okay, so it just wants me to purchase an enchanted room from him. But there's also the little side quest symbol in here as if I haven't even started the side quest yet. What's this? Uh, run by the Amiable Albie Weeks. The shop sells a bowl just for a shop. Okay. Uh, is this all it wants me to do? Buy a broom upgrade? Increases acceleration and speed. Oh, that's going to be nice. Um, okay, let's spend a little bit of time selling some items. That's cool. That actually brought me back to even higher coins than I just had. Um, but what else do I have to do for this little side quest? It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade. Oh, this is the More next side quest. Okay. Than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you okay. access this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Okay, good. So it does seem like I have a tr fast travel nearby. Um, before I leave, though, there's a couple other side quests that you can start in Hogsmeade, and I'm just going to go start them quickly just so I can have them in my quest list. Okay, so there's one that has to do with this guy behind the three boom broomsticks here, Ackley Barnes. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. Okay. I'm plotting a I like his blue suit. Against my ex-business partner. A conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. Okay. He cut me out of our herbology supply business just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too That's hilarious. to work with. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. Okay. A famous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? <laughs> grand plant larceny. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Now, do I feel like this is going to backfire? This guy seems Remember, shady. I just need that okay, we'll do that in a, in a little bit. Um, let's go start the other one. Okay, so there's another quest down here. Talk to the goblin, Garnuff. Hello. Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf biscuit oh. was abducted by poachers up north. Oh, the vicious brutes. That's horrible. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. Oh, how kind. If only all of wizard kind was as gracious to goblins. Wouldn't if that be nice? If you see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Okay. Do keep an eye out so now I got those three quests. I'm going to go do the uh, Albie Weeks one first, though. Okay, so that means I got to go all the way down here, um, and I'll see you guys when I get to here. Um, I'm going to start whatever side quest this is, too. I just I just want to get them all in my quest list. I'm not going to necessarily do them all in this episode, but just for the sake of knowing that I need to do them eventually. She's robbed almost everyone now, so who's the fool? I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Okay. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. I should be going now. Thank you. Um, I'll keep an eye on your belongings if I Okay, you. it's another thing to do later. Okay, so here's where I gotta be for the broom upgrade thing. Hello. If it isn't the fastest Hufflepuff. Oh, this girl. 
Hello, Imelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. Yeah, I'm here. I'm ready to fly. Finally, a decent challenge. Okay. So how long? 226. I need to beat that. Oh, there's other people flying this time. Okay. Let's see how well I can do this. Acceptable. So it seems like these yellow rings reset my broom energy so I can have a speed burst more often. I don't know where the other guy went. Oh, shoot. Okay, I gotta be careful about that. La la. There's still like 15 rings to go. This might be trickier than the first time I did this. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, I got time, I think. Okay, next one. Next one. I think we'll be okay. Because I still have over a minute left, and I only have eight rings, seven rings now to do. Nice, next. Oh, I love the view when I'm flying, though. Like, this is so pretty. I'm kind of glad I'm doing one of these at winter time, too. And I get this, like, snowy landscape look. Okay, 16, four more, and we're almost there, with lots of time to spare, it will be great. I'm going to skip the yellow speed boost that time, because I don't need them. Okay, two more. One, and the finish line's up there, we got lots of time. Oh yeah! Nicely done. Cool. This is rather fun. Yes, it is. <laughs> You've improved, I must admit. That I've improved. A bloody good run. Be careful. Earn a reputation for talent around here, and some people get put out about it. Sounds no, like I'm I'm good with food. a good reputation. See you at the South Coast trial, if you don't lose your nerve. Okay. I guess we'll do that to another time, right? Again. Visit the podium with the leaderboard, where you can start the race. And uh, I gotta return to Albie Weeks. Okay. Good news, Mr. Weeks. With your upgrade, I was able to set a new record at the Irondale course. Cool. Brilliant. I knew the upgrade had fantastic potential. I didn't really notice much of a difference, to be honest. So I'm sure I'll have to do another one of those pretty quickly. Thank you. Okay, let's see if we can kick out some of these little side quests I also just picked up. So Venice Revenge, Enter the Cellar. I think this one will be pretty short. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Enter. This must be the cellar. How There's somebody in here. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. What could be? Stop! Plant Interesting. Okay. I was trying to like battle him, but I guess it's just like don't be seen kind of thing. Okay, I'm actually just gonna try to sneak around him. If I do this a little bit more carefully, I think I can do it. Um, I just don't like that he moves so much. Okay, this way. Hello, Amora. Okay, definitely making progress this time. There we go. Where is that I wonder if he'll follow me this way. Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think we're safe for the moment. Oh, there's spiders in here. Why? Why, why, why spiders? And these types of spiders are dangerous too, eh? Like, they're huge! Stop digging! Goodbye. My god. That was annoying. Oh, here we go. Venomous Tentacula. Now that I have the Venomous Tentacula, I should return to I took the whole thing. Okay, let's go back and talk to the guy. 
Wish I could see Lolly's face when he realizes his prized possession is it gone. Literally just walked into his cellar as he was there and he didn't notice me. Okay, I guess that one is finished. Um, 300 coins. Okay, nice. Okay, this was the other one where he needs his moon calf back. So let's go do this quickly. Okay, we're going way up here. So let's fast travel to this point. Okay, so it's just over here. And this it said I only need to be level 10 for this quest or recommended. So I think this should be a fairly easy bit of combat. Although they do seem to be scaled to my level a little. So let's put this here and this here. I'm gonna need a yellow spell too, eh? Unless I just insta-kill you. Goodbye. I'm gonna take you out. I should probably put Bombard on here because it's better than all of this other stuff. I like these guys with red shields. Those are the spells I like to use. Although, this is proving to be more difficult than I expected. Ow, my goodness. These are hitting hard. Okay, you're dead now. Man, this one's doing a lot of damage to me. Like, he just hit me from max health to basically dead in one second. Like, nothing has taken that much damage. Like, I don't take that much damage from anything unless it's a big boss. So this is kind of concerning that it's happening. Um, But let's unlock the moon calves that are in here. Which one of you is Biscuit? Which one of you is Biscuit? Do I need to rescue Biscuit the moon calf? Okay, do I need to rescue this specifically? Levioso. And we gotcha, I think. Two, three. Beautiful. Thanks, Biscuit. All right, Biscuit. Okay. Let's get you back to Gone, shall we? Gone. I'm glad I was able to do this I've for this guy. Biscuit. You have. I cannot wait wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. This is so precious. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. Okay. I wish that all wizard goblin relations could be that, uh, Biscuit and I can't thank that, you like, well received, you know? Okay, I'm gonna do this one other quest that, um, I got from when I went all the way down to the broom trial because um, it had to be nighttime. So let's go do this too. And I don't think this will take me too long either. Okay, so I got to look for clues of his sister stealing things. Um, okay, so what is this? It's just coins. Oh, follow the trail of coins. Okay. There's one, there's one, there's one. Let's see what's okay, up sleeve this time, Merlin. Do Merlin trial later. Just want to keep following this coin trail. Oh, down there. Okay. Okay. Man, how long does this coin trail go this for? Dangerous if I'm not careful. I wasn't exactly expecting this to be quite so extensive. Goodbye. Ooh, goodbye. The problem with my current spell setup is that, like, while they're all stronger, now I'm noticing that I tend to have my spells reset more, like, it takes them longer to cool down, which is kind of annoying. Now you're dead. Where did these coins go? Oh, finally. Okay. Oh my goodness, it was a Niffler? The Iron Pilferer. Oh my goodness. What does it say? The Irondale Pilferer. Let's catch it. 
I was wondering why there were so many coins on the ground, but it's a Niffler. That makes perfect sense. I have the Niffler. I appreciate what you did uncover. Katrin's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. I don't believe now, that he didn't want to believe you. that. He was so it. sure. Glad okay. I'll be able to look my neighbors Is that the end of that, though? Niffler mask, that's funny. This cosmetic I just unlocked from doing that. It's, <laughs> it's supposed to be a Niffler mask. That's hilarious. I am not wearing that around. Okay, let's do the main story now. Um, there's a couple of these that are just going to be dialogues. Okay, so let's do these first. Dragon Debrief, that's back in Hogsmeade. Okay, so this is just me talking to Poppy after we went into Horntail Hall a couple episodes ago. Over here. Because um, we found a bunch of this dragon, of like a dragon fighting ring there. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting room. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. Okay. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers. Oh, there was something like the we found that was goblin metal. Was wearing a collar. I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Okay, so I'm assuming this will be a quest that comes up later. Oh, okay. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Oh, it's fine. Why is he after you? I'm not going to tell her. I don't. I don't know if I really know her that well. Say, at least not at the moment. Understood. We all have our secrets. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. Okay. I'll let you know. So there's another conversation where I talk to Natty, I think. Okay, hi Natty. And they're both here. Her mom's here too. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Careful. Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of She definitely has been. Wizards. We love Natty. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you, and she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near. I can understand why her mom is saying this, though. My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. She never listens to me. She called you. It's her part of being a gazelle. child. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. <laughs> oh, really? Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an animal. Oh, really? And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. That's really cool. Now the nickname makes sense. I wonder an extraordinary ability to have. if it's going to let me become an Animagus at some I point. Love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic. And what animal I'd become? She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. That's probably true. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. I can see why. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <laughs> My mother can I love her. where I am all the time. I actually love Natty. Thank She's great. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Okay, so now I gotta do Professor Weasley's stuff. Because it's the only thing left in the main quest line, and I can't, I cannot continue on further until I do it. So, um, I need to collect field guide pages from the underground harbor and from the book on intermediate transfiguration library. Okay. Is there a way in underground harbor? Oh, okay. There we go. And so there should be a field guide page in here somewhere that I'm gonna need. Cool. I've never been down here. So this is the underground harbor. So there must be a field guide page somewhere. Rebellion. Yeah, there it is. Uh, located deep beneath the viaduct courtyard is the landing for boats uh, delivering first year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. Cool. 
Okay, so now I gotta find the other one from the Transfiguration book, Intermediate Transfiguration in the library. Okay, so the library entrance is here, I'm pretty sure. I've only been in here once, and it was when I um, came to do the restricted section thing with Sebastian. Should be just book over Professor here. Weasley asked me to find. Should be. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. I am actually. Hi. Professor Weasley asked me to uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? Mm -hmm. I'll give you this book if you hear Ugh. me by answering a few questions. Why are you making this so difficult? Quiz. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. All right. Let us begin. Before the invention of the golden snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? Am I supposed to know this? Uh, the golden snuggery, the golden snidget, the snake bird. I don't know. The golden snidget. Correct. Okay, the cool. Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarus Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Okay. Which potion is commonly referred to as... I know this one. It's Felix Felicis. Yeah. Felix Felicis. Well done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. Okay. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifact? How? I guess, okay. The the Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows. But they're not referred to as the Deathly Hallows in the, the book. The Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Interesting that she knows that. Okay. In Quidditch is the largest. The Quaffle. The Quaffle. That's right. When a chase is broke, is the this, through one of this quiz is so dumb. Match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? Polyjuice potion uh, allows the drinker to change species. No, it doesn't. Because remember Hermione turned her into, 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 into a cat and didn't work. can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. Oh, thank goodness. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. The book back on the pedestal. Revelio. Revelio. There we go. Uh, this book was designed to help guide the students who wish to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley often recommends it to her advanced students as a bit of light reading. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. Okay, so let's go find her. Okay, so here we are at the transfiguration classroom. I don't think we've really even had a class with her yet, like a proper full class. To be honest. Yeah, this is the first time we've really been in this classroom. I still don't know what Professor Fig actually teaches. Because I haven't had a class with him. He just kind of hangs out with me as I do my main story stuff. As you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. <laughs> now, you all know what to do. Hi, Sebastian. Just chilling alone back there. Okay, what do we need? To oh, here we go. We're learning the spell right away. Y, A, X. Cool. So I think it, I think now the only spells I haven't learned yet are Avada Kedavra and Imperio, which I'm sure will come throughout the rest of the game. Beautifully done. Okay. The Spellmaster, right? Okay. So look, if you look now, I have every single spell unlocked, except for the two other curses. Um, and if I had to guess, I would assume that I get one of these before the third Keeper Trial, which is probably going to be Imperio, and the last one before the last Keeper Trial kills enemies instantly, because that's really overpowered. <laughs> um, that's just my guess. Okay, let's see what she needs to say. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. No, I'm great. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Have I? Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. 
Deke tells me you captured a unicorn. Oh, I did. I did that off camera. I don't think I ever really showed that happening. Rare beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the woovers of your extracurricular activity. Oh, she still doesn't really know everything that's going on. An ex aura in Upper Hogsfield connected in any way to Professor Fig. Begin to imagine what that was about. At what point is she going to learn? Oh, fine. I'll just Professor say yes. Has encouraged me to explore when I can in uh, an effort to complete my field guide. Uh, the I most BS answer. For learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWL. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Cool. Okay, so that's kind of at the end of that little sequence of quests. Um, oh, it, it's giving me an opportunity to practice the spell. Okay, what does it actually do? Oh, it literally just turns it into something else. <laughs> that's hilarious. It has a really long cooldown on it, too. I wonder if I can use that on enemies. Something dawned on me about the triptych. Okay, so here's all the new quests showing up. I think I'm probably going to end this episode here, though. And I'll start with whatever other main quests start showing up next time. Uh, meet Sebastian. There's going to be another one that pops up there in just a second. Um, but we'll check that out next time. So, for now, thank you guys always, uh, as always, so, so much for watching. And we will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.